Hey guys, out here at Bus Lines in beautiful Mittagong. Just gonna see a little bit behind the scenes around before Soulbox and after Soulbox and uh, checking out some of the old ways they used to do things. We're gonna show you the new way they're doing it now. So come in and check it out, no more of that. Thanks for having us out, Dave and Andrew. Just wanted to uh, find a little bit about the operation and um, check out the site and yeah, see how everything's tracking with Soulbox. So tell us a little bit about the business and where we are today. Yeah, so we've, uh, we've been around since uh, 1926 and initially established as uh, John A. Gilbert. Uh, we began our first bus operation in 1938 and since then we've grown to have 13 locations around the state, uh, 380 buses and over 550 staff. Wow. Where are we today? What's this depot for? So this is our Barrima Bus Lines operation. Um, we're based in Mittagong. Uh, we have about 45 buses here. It's, it's probably, this was probably one of the first established depots of the group. As you can see, it's, you know, it's a well-maintained fleet, a well-run operation, and uh, largely servicing the local schools. We also perform the, uh, the town services, but a large portion of our, of our network is the school services. So these buses here using the Soulbox solution? Yes, yes. So we. Um, we largely use a Soulbox solution uh, in terms of training new drivers. So where we found efficiencies is that you know, generally it took us you know, a couple of weeks to get drivers trained up in, in various runs, whether it be school runs, town services. Um, we've, we've shortened that up a little bit now where you know, we, we, we can assess the driver's ability to drive, but we can now send them out a bit quicker on the runs with the Soulbox solution, where they you know, track where they're going, um, making sure they're following the right the right route, and you know it's 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 it's, re it's reduced um, I guess time loss in terms of you know, drivers getting, going down the wrong street, and it's also reduced customer complaints. So you know parents getting upset when their kid uh, kid gets home late because the driver's going down the wrong way. So right. um, it has helped us from an efficiency point of view. How long would you say it took you before to train a driver to, to now? Is it that two weeks? Yeah. And so initially, depending on the driver, obviously. Right. So if if a driver was relatively fresh to driving or new to driving. Um, it did take us, you know, two, three weeks to one, make sure they were proficient in driving itself, yeah. and then two, learning the runs. Um, so yeah, it could be up to two, three weeks. And there's, ob there's obviously ongoing training throughout the driver's you know, um, employment, and you know, we continue to train them, but that initial on the road setup has been you know, substantially um, improved. Andrew, tell us a little bit about the uh, 16 cities a project that um, I believe some of the guys were helping from Soulbox to deliver that and, and some of the outcomes that you're able to achieve. Yeah, so um, last year the New South Wales government rolled out a program called the 16 Cities Program and essentially they identified 16 key regional towns or cities across the state that um, they wanted to target to do a complete overhaul of the transport operation, not just buses, but trains, the whole network. Um, and so we have currently three, uh, three of our depots that have been involved in the process. Um, and Soulbox has really helped in the fact that when we roll out this whole new network, we need to uh, map all the new routes that they're proposing. Um, and Soulbox has helped in terms of we just simply put the device into a bus, we send it out with one of our drivers who drive, physically drives the bus along the new route, they press start, it tracks them along the route, they also press, uh, press the marker points for each of the bus stops. We then, when they return to the depot, take the data back and we can help plug it into our um, rostering and scheduling software to build out the new timetable and the new network solution. Right. So how were you doing it before that? Uh, previously it would have been pretty basic sort of pen and paper operation um, in terms of driving on the bus with a stopwatch, timing between points, um, checking on the odometer, so some pretty old school technology. Yeah. So um, this has definitely helped um, speed up the process. I mean, in Northern Rivers, for example, we have around 90 buses there um, and we've managed to map those routes within three weeks, which I think traditionally would have taken us a few months to get done. So 16 cities across New South Wales. So we're actually um, going live at the end of June for Bathurst. So David and I have spent quite a bit of time up there um, mapping using Soulbox, which has made it really easy for us. And um, yeah, so it'll be, it'll be good to see it come to fruition at the end of June. Yeah, okay, that's awesome. So then there's, there's sort of two components. One is uh, training drivers on new routes that you yep. take from um, the, the government feeds and you push it out to a device, the driver follows it turn by turn. Yep. So from an operational standpoint, you probably see the benefits of the drivers being able to do that with ease instead of you know having to 
yeah. have a chaperone driver. Is that is that what it used to be like, a chaperone driver? Exactly, or? yeah. So we would send out a, a, an experienced driver with them to sort of right. teach them the routes. I mean, the other thing you touched upon is we have a lot of KPIs we need to meet in terms of our government contracts and things like going off route or um, our on-time running, so early running and late running are our main KPIs. So Soulbox has definitely helped us um, track those things and, and keep drivers accountable and, and sticking to sticking to what the government have in our contracts. Yeah, cool. That's awesome. And um, from a Soulbox solution standpoint in, in the team, has it been good working with the team? I mean, I haven't really been uh, involved in the, in the later style of things, but uh, yeah, it's been, been good working with the team. Yeah, definitely. I mean, when I first started using Soulbox, obviously, like any new technology, you have a couple of teething issues on my behalf and, you know, I reached out to the team and they were always willing to come back and, and help out and it's been pretty seamless. I think um, the thing I found the most efficient for me, for David and myself, is when we're at head office, we, you know, we don't need to be out in the locations. We can have that whole mapping structure of what we've captured on Soulbox in front of us on one map at our desk and then we can plug it straight into our scheduling software so we're not chasing different bits and pieces it's all consolidated into one which has made our lives a lot easier all right thanks for having us out dave andrew just want to ask what do you think about working with soulbox and would you recommend the solution and uh, the team colors yeah definitely uh, from day one it's been a great experience working with the soulbox team um you know, anytime we've had any issues they've been ready to address them quite timely and uh, from our experience, you know, the efficiency we've gained through implementing the, the solution, uh, we recommend to all bus operators. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Thanks, guys.